Joined now by former NHLer Carlo Koliankovo, co-host of First Up in the Morning on TSN Radio in the Toronto market. More importantly, you spent a couple of seasons playing for Ken Hitchcock in St. Louis. You know the way he coaches, yeah. and you know this Edmonton Oiler roster. How do you think the two are going to mesh? Well, a similar situation for me when Ken Hitchcock to took over in St. Louis. He came in, and he tried to create an identity for the team. It was slow the game down and defend. But when you got guys like Connor McDavid that want to play faster... Why would you want to slow the game down here, which really creates an interesting scenario in Edmonton. So what does he do to the team's blue line then to try to bring him up to speed? Because Shirelli says he's concerned that they can't pass the puck the way he needs them to pass the puck to their forwards. Well, Ken Hitchcock, because he's so strong in, in coaching defense, he's going to create a system where they're creating layers of support in the D zone, where the center icemen are playing low and slow, creating those short passes, exiting with the puck, push the pace through the neutral zone, and checking the puck. One thing that in St. Louis when we had Ken Hitchcock, we had a bunch of checkers. And one, you can check the puck in the offensive zone, go low to high, funnel pucks to the net. Hopefully that's how he can create offense for Connor McDavid. But the roster that he has right now, can they fit into that kind of a system? It's really tough to see. I mean, other than that top line with Connor McDavid, you want to play with more speed. I just don't see that on Edmonton's roster. So it's going to be challenging for him. The area he needs to address first is the goaltending, then the defense. And how do you do that? Create accountability and be hard on your players when you need to be. A lot of guys who played for him say he's a real details guy. Is that accurate? He's a big details guy. If anything, Ken Hitchcock is a video guru. The best thing that he's known for is breaking down not only your own, but opposition strengths and weaknesses. And that can translate to success. In the past, there have been some players after playing for him have said they did not enjoy that experience at all. What was your experience like? What's it like to play for him? Uh, I really enjoy playing for him because he's the manning coach that preaches accountability, but he's a shelf life coach. He's a guy can, that can come in and create instant success, but over time can wear on players. Even Peter Shirelli himself calls Ken Hitchcock a bit of a taskmaster. We'll see how that plays out in Edmonton.